Good about yourself. Hello. brother go laying down on the job well hello there and welcome to trucking with Schmidt how are you beautiful people on this beautiful day it's an overcast day here in Western Iowa and I'm kind of beginning to think it's probably going to rain again as I say rain again we have gotten probably about three inches of rain over the past seven days this is one of those occasions where I kind of wish I could just send it out west that way everybody out west could get some moisture, knock the fires down, and, uh, well, things would just be a lot better, wouldn't they? How's everybody hanging out out there? Hanging out? <laughs> Dork. How is everybody doing out west through the fires? I know I have a few of you that had to uh, relocate and leave down in that Tahoe area. I hope everything is going okay. I have not checked the news, which I do not watch, you guys know that, but every once in a while something will pop up on my uh, YouTube feed when it comes to the fires out there, so I watch them. Barking at you're barking at me, you know that, right? Just to let you know, had to make a little stop by the post office quick, check the PO box. By the way, I forgot to open up the mail in front of you guys uh, last time. We got them from Train Boy, and uh, um, oh my gosh, I feel horrible. We're just gonna have to go home and check with that letter. It was from Eastern Iowa, I know that or central Iowa, Des Moines area, let's put it that way. This one is from, we did get a letter from Spencerville, Ohio. We'll have to check that out when we get home. One thing I've become, guys, I have become that nosy neighbor. I know, it sounds horrible to say, but I've become that nosy neighbor. You know the one I'm talking about too. It's that one that drives around town and just kind of looks around at everybody's houses and checks yards out and sees how everybody's doing and see the fact of the matter is and by this point no one really knows what I'm talking about when I say I bumped my head but probably about three weeks ago I got into an accident and I smacked my head and uh, got a pretty nasty concussion. Well, I have not been able to drive the truck, let alone leave town since I got that. So what I do now is I just drive around town. Every once in a while, I will sneak outside of town and run the gravel roads for a little bit, but gravel roads are just fine. I'm going 25 miles an hour. The parts that I can handle is when everything's whipping past me at 55, 65 mile an hour. And I did try driving around a little bit last night during the dark and the headlights were messing with me which that definitely has to go away because as you guys know I drive a lot at night 
but I've become that person that just drives around the neighborhood just checking things out basically being nosy because I can't leave town but yet I still want to drive so me and the boys will go for a drive um, I see today we might just run down to the river and let the boys run around just like we did in uh, the last video I put out it's insanity I know Like that nice little loop we went through right there. I had no reason to go through there, but I did. I did see a house was for sale. I didn't know he was moving. I, you know, here in town in Mapleton here, there's actually quite a few houses that are coming up for sale. Did you guys see that old square body Chevy? Looks like it's getting a new rear end. Yes, if you're wondering, you did just go from seeing a beautiful Kenworth W900 running, which we're just letting her run for a little bit, keep the batteries charged up, keep everything in good shape, to a truck driver doing laundry. Great content, isn't it? Just great. Now I do have to warn you, I'm about to enter my daughter's room and I'm not too sure how it's going to look, but my little girls need food. Huh. Not too bad. Hey ladies, would you like some food? Watch out. Here you go. There we go. I don't know if she has any treats in here for you or not. Let me check. Do we have treats? No, that's food food. How mean! She doesn't have any treats for you. At least I can't find them if she does. If you were wondering, yes, that was my only goal for the day, was to get my daughter's guinea pigs, Timothy Hay, drive around town, check things out, start the truck, do laundry, vacuum. We're not even going to work on the truck camper today. I did say I was going to take them running, didn't I? What's wrong with him? He seems antsy for some reason. Well, the rain has moved in. I just checked the radar and it looks like we have a lot of rain coming. The unfortunate part to the whole truck camper thing is, no, we have not waterproofed it yet. Remember way back when when I was talking about all the leaks? The leaks are in those back windows right there. 
See, just this little rain we're getting right now, it's just a light little one. I'm getting water in right here, so the outside of them need completely sealed up. And I forgot all about that. I don't know how I did. The back of the thing just dried out. Don't tell Warden I'm going to use towels from inside the house. And we're going to try to stop it to protect the wood that's under there till tomorrow. Hopefully it'll stop raining by tomorrow and we can put some sealer in it. Who knows? Maybe it won't be long. What's up? Since I can't take the boys running, it seems like a good time to let them just do their thing with Millie. Hi, Millie. Oh, she's gone. No, she's back. You want in there? Then go in. Hi, Dad. Hey, what's up? Hi, Mom. Hello. It's raining. We're bored. Checking cameras. Oh, there. trail cameras. What do we got? Well, got a little buck. Yeah, a little buck. This guy's skittish. He don't like cameras. Zoom in on it or make it bigger. Hey, there you go. And he knows it's there. Yeah. He's like, hello, Mr. Camera. Yeah. He knows it's there. Either. Well, I'm going to have to check to be sure, but I'm pretty sure just a couple days ago that yard was dark or bright brown. Um, it's the next day. It rained all night and all the way up till noon today it rained. So I haven't asked Dad what the weather or what the rain gauge says, but I'm going to guess probably another two inches, which means for the six day total, we're probably looking at four inches of rain. And... That tire is squatting. Do you guys see how that tire is squatting? It's a squatter. What do we got here? Ultra clear 
dab adhesive wet surfaces stays crystal clear non-yellowing we're trying this out the gap up there on top of that window was far more extreme than what I thought it was probably to the point to where I probably should have pulled the window out and put all new seals in it I wasn't expecting that but the good part on that front is I know what the leaking I know what the leak is now and I know what is leaking and I probably should have bought the big tube with the caulking gun. This one I'm kind of realizing though I can control a little bit better. I'm not a good, um, you know when you lay caulking down around your toilets, around your uh, bathtubs, I, it, it's not pretty when I do it. But doing this with this thing here, it's actually working out pretty nicely. I don't need to pick up. I can walk. But then we'll have to walk back up there later. I need to walk. Okay. Okay. Always distracting me, even when she's not with me. That was Warden saying, hey, I'll follow you up to the football field, then I'll pick you up. And I keep telling everybody, I need to walk, I need to walk, I need to walk. Granted, I'm a truck driver, we don't walk a lot, but... I need to walk. I'm, I need to walk. Well, yeah, windows are sealed up. As for tonight, guys, tonight is homecoming night at the high school for the football team. So I am taking the pickup up, just like last week. We're going to park it, and uh, that way we have a good parking spot. The game actually starts in three hours. Well, as for the tire issue we were having, guys, if you guys remember yesterday, I put a new valve stem in that tire, and then we come out and it lost a lot of air. So I went back down to Napa and told him, hey, valve stem's leaking. Well, Ray, he took the tire off, he sanded everything down, and he got it to where it was glassy smooth, real shiny. Then we found a crack. There's a little crack inside the valve stem hole. Now the crack hasn't spread yet, so I'm not too concerned about it. He put a new steel valve stem in there, and I think the steel valve stem with the nut in the washer, it wasn't leaking at the time, but I think it's going to leak. So now I'm thinking I need to get on eBay and see if I can find one used rim. Thought about going to the junkyard too. So I really don't want to buy a Ford rim because, well, for that one rim, I could probably buy six aftermarket rims for the cost. But, that being said, if the rim isn't leaking, I'm not going to worry about that little crack, just to let you guys know. But I'm pretty sure it's going to leak. We're going to give it a day or two, check it with the old air check, air tester, whatever you want to call it, and go from there. Yeah, now we just set for a couple hours, then we're going to head up to the football game and watch that. I don't know if you guys are going to want any interest in that at all. Maybe I'll throw some flippets of it here at the end of the video. Guys, today was just another video, another vlog, a home vlog. Let's just put it that way. I want to thank you guys for watching, sending the continuous prayers and everything. And, uh, well, once again, just watching the videos. I know the content is completely different and not even close to what I want to do. I always pictured if I wasn't going to do a uh, trucking vlog, it'd be a truck camping vlog, and we still haven't even done that. So, thank you for continuously watching them. I truly appreciate that. Other than that, guys, you guys have a great evening, great day, great morning, whatever it is when you're watching this. And as always, I'll see you next time.
staying dry. You could lay down and take a nap in there if you wanted. Oh, okay.